everybody. I'm Lane from LoneCone.com, and I uh, really appreciate you checking out this review. Uh, probably haven't heard much about us, Lone Cone, yet. Uh, we're a gear shop in Boise, Idaho, and we have a pretty fun website that we hope you'll check out. But our motto is to uh, sell stuff we love and love the stuff we sell. So we try to find outdoor gear brands that are uh, pr provide a lot of quality and really help you enjoy the great outdoors like we do. So we use our stuff, we test our stuff, and today we have a pile of Nemo sleeping pads to review. So it's kind of late in the day and we're kind of losing our light. It's chilly up here in the mountains, uh, early October. Even for October, it's chilly. So, but we're gonna get a campfire going here shortly and that'll be really cool. Uh, help us walk through these pads and check them out. I don't know if you know much about Nemo the company. Uh, it used to be called New England Mountain Equipment. Uh, I guess they technically are, but now they're just known as Nemo. And they were started by some really bright guys who wanted to take uh, outdoor equipment design in new directions and just to new levels. And, and we think they've really achieved that. Um, if, you haven't checked it, if you haven't checked out our sleeping bag review of Nemo sleeping bags, we went through their whole family, all their models, and they're really fantastic sleeping bags. I own one. I own one of these pads. One of these is mine. Uh, super impressed with the design quality here and the features you'll find. So uh, stay tuned. We'll walk through these. All right, well, we got the fire going and the pad stacked up. So why don't we start with my favorite pad? I think it's their flagship model. It's the Nemo Tensor. So this is your ultra lightweight backpacking pad. Comes in a lot of different sizes. This is the 20R, okay? We also have a 20R uh, mummy shape bag. So there's a couple of uh, Tensor mummy shapes. And these actually are used pads. They've been on multi-day treks um, and, and they were sent to us from from Nemo uh, for these videos. So you can see some wear on them, but that just you know shows you how durable they really are. Packed with features. I wish I had the uh, Tensor 20S, which is the short. It's 20 inches wide, but it's only four feet long. So if you're a through hiker, man, that is a pad for you. It is like, like put it in your pocket when it's folded up. But you know, the mummy shapes are good for if you wanna uh, save some weight or you wanna use like a down comforter type uh, sleeping bag. There's several out there. Nemo makes one called the Siren and uh, it integrates directly on the pad so you just have a down comforter over you and a pad underneath and so in warm temperature you're gonna be just fine. Very lightweight. So one of the big features I want to point out about Nemo pads right away in the Tensor and some of the other models is the very interesting baffle design. So what you're looking at here is the underside of the pad and on the opposite side is the fading sunlight shining through uh, the top yellow layer and out the bottom. And what you can see are these die cut trusses that form the baffles of the Tensor. And um, it's a low stretch fabric and these are cut out individual. And I think if you were to look inside this pad right now, it would look a lot like one of those medieval cathedrals with columns running down the center and lots of arches. Um, so it's not really a lateral baffle, it's not really a vertical baffle, it's a space frame baffle. That's what they call it, the space frame baffle. And so each of these trusses, um, they're not uh, glued together, it's not an epoxy or a polymer of some kind, they're actually welded. They're actually, Nemo uses welded seams. And so I guess on the molecular level, the thermal plastic use here is is, is fused. So this doesn't break down as much um, if it gets wet and it doesn't break down in sunlight or in heat like uh, like a glue would. So greatly extends the, the durability of the pad. Now, why would you do this? Why would you make these crazy baffles? Um, because you sleep so much better. It gives you so much more even support. So you know how with most um, pads, you know, it, it, as you get towards the edge of the pad, it, the pad basically collapses and um, you know your elbow comes off or you sit up in the middle of the night and your butt goes to the ground. That's eliminated with the space frame baffles and you get a lot more even support so you sleep better. All the tensor pads in addition to the space frame baffles that give you a lot of great support have a thin layer of infrared heat reflecting uh, metallic foil in, inside and you know it's a, it's a form of insulation reflects the heat back on your body and it's a lot like uh, an emergency blanket you'd find in a survival kit or at the end of a race they give you and it really works gives you more but the way Nemo does it is it's suspended in the middle of the pad. It's not glued to the top, it's not glued to the bottom, and that eliminates the crinkling noise. So if you've ever used one of those, they're quite noisy, and it's, I don't think it'd be fun to sleep with one rattling and crackling around in there. So they put it in the middle, and it eliminates the noise. So if you took a tensor and you added an integrated foot pump, you would have the Vector series sleeping pads. And that's one of these right here, okay? So it's about four more ounces and works really, really well. 
Save you the trouble of having to blow up your sleeping pad every night. Same space frame baffles, same aluminized layer underneath, and both the tensor and the vectors do have insulated versions. So if you're gonna do some cold weather camping, you just wanna be a little more snug. They have Prima Loft insulation in them, and it'll take it down 10, 15 more degrees of comfort with just a few more ounces of weight. There's the Tensor 20R rolled up in its stuff sack. And just look how small that is. It is a tiny little pad for a lot of support. Repair kit included. Hard to beat. Next up, let's take a look at the Cosmos. So this is actually my pad. Um, I have a Tensor for lightweight backpacking, but when I just want thick luxury, I have this Cosmo Insulator Light 25L. It's huge, it's just big. I sleep on my stomach, so I kind of sprawl a little bit. I like it, I like to sprawl, that's how it is. So I got one of these big pads when I just want to be comfortable and weight's not as big a deal. And I think it's, it's good in winter. What you get with a Cosmo is that you don't have the space frame baffles, so it saves you a little bit of money, and you have the, but you have these really high quality lateral baffles. And it's very thick, you know, so the larger ones have a four inch thickness in there, and that's pretty big. Very firm, holds the air really well at night, and has a, good in, a really good integrated foot pump, a big one. It pumps it up pretty fast. It packs down really tight. So mine is a Cosmo Insulated Light, which I think they're discontinuing in 2017. This is the Cosmo Insulated. They're the same size, 25L, big pads. Mine just had a little less material involved, save some weight. But there's gonna be some color changes coming down the pike with Nemo. I think the new ones are gonna be red. The same great construction, just this very sturdy pad. Strong materials and very firm, retains the air really well at night. You know, you don't have to pump it up in the middle of the night um, and supports your weight really well. Very comfortable sleeping on the Cosmo. So if you're looking for Nemo quality, but you don't got the big bucks to shell out for a Tensor Mummy S or a Vector Insulated, which are outstanding pads. I mean, I, they're worth every penny in my opinion. They're as good as you're gonna get for a lightweight backpacking pad for the technology they put into it, for the space frame baffles, for the quality, the durability, it is worth every penny. I love Nemo and what they put into their design. But the Astro is a great kind of value pad. And if you're just going for comfort, uh, a little less money, you've got the Astro Light and the Astro. And these are the 2016 colors. I think there's gonna be a color change for 2017, the same great pad. The Astro Light's just a little less material and the Astro's just got a little bit more. And you can get insulated versions in both kinds. So you can get an insulated light, you can get an insulated Astro. Um, gives you a nice layer of Prima Loft to keep you warm at night. No foot pump here, trying to save money, but that's okay. Sometimes you gotta earn a good night's sleep. Oh, light is, light is fading in the Boise National Forest right now, and soon you will have to retire and sleep. And if weight was no option, I want to sleep on one of these right here. So, uh, behold, the Nomad 30L, a huge pad, basically. It's an inflatable mattress, straight up an inflatable mattress, okay? Like the kind you would get, but not the really cheap kind that work maybe three times and then they're useless and the little motor breaks down, it's supposed to pump it up. This is Nemo quality, it's going to last. You'll get years of use out of it. Dude, six inches of loft, six inches, okay? Put two of these together and you have, actually have a queen size bed. You can put sheets on this, on this pad and sleep like you're in a bed. So uh, pair that with the, Maybe one of Nemo's rectangular sleeping bags. You gotta check them out. Really luxurious, really warm. Basically like sleeping in a bed. So the way to get this thing pumped up, it's got an integrated foot pump. Pretty high capacity down here in the corner. Um, it's got some tie down straps around the edges. You know, if you wanna secure it to something or, or hook them together, I think it'll help do that. But just, oh, that's comfortable. I'm ready to go to bed. Right here, on this. So this is what they look like with your headlamp. Literally, this is what it looks like, see? There's the Cosmo, Cosmo Light, Astro, Astro Light. Great lateral baffle pads, super value. I love my Cosmo, it is really comfortable and uh, just stays firm all night long. Dig it. And there's the Tensor, space frame baffles, aluminized film reflecting your heat. There's the Vector, it's got the foot pump, all right? just a Tensor with a foot pump. And then the Mighty Nomad, huge. I can't even get it in the frame, I can't see it. I don't have a tent big enough for it. I want to sleep on it.